Okay, so you're asking about number three and four. So looking at number three, so they give you the exponential function for the modeling the population of Houston. And so um, all they're asking you to do is what is the rate of the city's uh, population growth annually? So you just have to look at this and figure out what that is. And so I'll give you a little hint here. If you go to the 4.1 uh, application problems, um, this is posted on the Google website, and there is a video of this. If you look at question A and B, more specifically A, since it's a growth problem, you're looking at uh, a 3% increase. Look at the formula that I create with a 3% um, increase per year, and following that model, you should be able to go back and look at this here, and you should be able to figure out what that uh, growth is and um, just make sure you put it as a percentage where you have to move the decimal place once you figure out uh, the decimal um, rate. And then question four is just the application of this. They're saying, you know, what's the pop, when will the population of Houston reach um, 3 million, right? And so they're basically telling you what to plug in, right, for um, f of x, and so you have to solve for t, okay? And so I have some examples from the 4.4, and they're, um, they're not quite exactly like these problems, but they're similar enough that you should be able to, if you look at these examples right here, especially 106, because right here they're solving for, um, for time, the formula does look a little different for continuously compounded. Let me see. We might have one that, let's see. Uh, ba -ba. How long will, oh, how long will it take it to grow? Okay. Uh, actually, maybe 105 right here. This one would be a good example for you to look at and see how to solve uh, for that. Um, shouldn't Hopefully, shouldn't give you too much trouble. And so if you... If you go to the Google site here, and so here's the uh, 4.1 exponential function application problems. That's for that number three. And then if you go down here and do 4.4 exp uh, exponential logarithmic um, equation application problems, if you watch those, hopefully that will point you in the right direction. But um, that's about as much as I can kind of tell you because this is kind of more to kind of make sure um this course is meeting those requirements and so hopefully you can figure it out from there um if you have any like other technical questions you know feel free to to reach out